What's up guys? So you have a Nexus 5 now and you want to be able to squeeze a little bit more juice out of it. Here are 10 battery saving tips that will help you increase that range. Let's get started. So the very first battery saving tip I want to talk about is eliminating all of the vibrating touches. And what I mean by that is, for example, you have several ways where the phone is going to vibrate. Uh, the first one is actually under sound. Surprisingly, right? It's not really a sound. Uh, down here, down here, you'll see vibrate on touch. Go ahead and uncheck that. And then the most important one is right here under language and input. If you go into the Google keyboard, you'll notice that it there's one called vibrate on press. And I already have that turned off. Normally, by default, it is turned on. Basically, every time you write an email, text message, or whenever you use a keyboard, it's going to vibrate. Can you imagine how many times? It could be several hundreds of different types of inputs that your phone's going to be vibrating. So eliminating these vib these vibrations is definitely going to help improve your battery life. Number two is set the brightness to a specific level. Now I use widget soid and you can actually program different steps. So for example, when I push here, it'll go down, it'll dim to, you know, whatever percentage you want. If I push it again, I have it to like 30 or 40% and even 100%. You can set different levels. So the idea is don't leave it on automatic because when you leave it on automatic, the phone is constantly testing or checking the light to see what the display level should be at. So if you set it to a specific level or if you don't want to use widget soid, just go ahead and go on brightness and just set it to a something comfortable where it's good for you and it's also um, not going to drain a lot of battery. For the most time, I like to leave it probably around 50 or 40%. Some of you like it a little, even a little lower, like 10, 20%. Uh, for myself, like I said, I like it at 40 to 50%, but definitely keeping the brightness to a predetermined level is definitely gonna help improve that battery life. The next battery saving tip I wanna talk about is GPS. There's a new mode called battery saving mode. As you can see, by default, the high accuracy accuracy is turned on. So go ahead and push this to battery saving mode and you should see a huge improvement in battery life. Now, if you do use Google Maps, you will need to turn it on, but for most parts and most applications like Yelp and other ones that use location, as long as you have it on battery saving mode, you should be okay. Now for the next battery saving tip, I recommend to use the default launcher. Now I'm using the Google edition launcher. Uh, it works really good. By the way, happy birthday, Sasha Pollenberg. Um, as you can see, this is a really nice launcher. If you use something like, let's just say Nova or any other launcher, it's going to use up a little bit more resources. I'm not saying it's going to drain your battery drastically, but even if it's one or 2% more, that's still extra juice that you can get by using the default launcher. The next tip I wanna talk about is turning NFC off. And one of the ways you can do that is go into settings under more and right here where it says NFC, go ahead and check mark that off. Now it's not gonna make a huge difference, but if you absolutely never really use NFC, go ahead and turn it off. And if you do use NFC, let's say you're going out and you're gonna go pay, it's just best, best to just go ahead and do that. It doesn't really take that much time, so a few little extra steps to earn a little extra battery, uh, definitely worth it in my book. Okay Google, open Tasker. Now for my next tip I want to talk about is using a program like Tasker. Tasker allows you to do a lot of optimizations and tips and tricks, I guess, to save battery life. And some of them are, for example, turning on and off Bluetooth automatically without you having to do anything. So for example, if I leave my house, my Wi-Fi will automatically turn off because I'm not really using it. Same thing with Bluetooth. It will only turn on when I'm in my car or in places that it knows. So yes, Tasker is a little bit more involved. There's other applications like Llama and there's also other applications out there that allow you to do these things. And even phones like the Moto X um, allow you to uh, pre-configure your phone so that it automatically works and trust me you want to use applications like these because if you're not needing these services there's no point in having them running. Another one of my battery saving tips is don't use so many widgets. As you can see here I'm using a couple of widgets not a lot but if you start using a lot of widgets you can drain the battery. Now I know widgets are useful and in some cases they're even cool but you know eliminating that and trying to eliminate also home screens how many screens you have displaying also makes a big difference. So trying to keep that to a minimum and you'll be surprised at how much extra battery you can squeeze. Now here's one of my favorite ones and it's actually probably the best way you can save battery is updating the kernel. Uh, one of my favorite ones is Frankel kernel and definitely if you want to get the most out of your Nexus 5, 
is doing this. Now this will require root, but basically you have more control of your device and I've seen some pretty impressive uh, results on my end. So if you really want to take the plunge, go ahead and root your device and I will tell you this is probably, you can leave everything else on and have Franco kernel or a particular kernel, not necessarily just Franco, and you should be good to go. Now here's a new one for you. Go ahead and dive into the settings and you want to go into developer options. Now if you don't know how to get into developer options and you probably shouldn't be doing this. Uh, under runtime, switch it from Delvic and use Art instead. Now, I highly recommend that you do a backup of your phone, um, depending on if you're rooted or not. But uh, this will definitely help a bit and it'll also help your phone run a little bit smoother. So this is something new and uh, I would just you know, play with it for a little bit. If you like it, go ahead and keep it. Some applications may not work. So this is, like I said, this is something new and I would definitely use that one more as a last resort. But if you definitely want to squeeze everything out of it, go ahead and do that one. And last but not least, let's go ahead and turn off Google Now. Now, as you saw me do earlier, you can just say, okay, Google, and it, the phone basically listens. All you need to do is if you're using the Google Edition launcher, go ahead and long press, push on settings under voice, you want to speech output, go ahead, or excuse me, sorry, hot word detection, turn that off. Now you'll see that the little uh, OK Google will not work and the microphone is sort of a, kind of like a muted symbol. So those are some of my 10 favorite battery saving tips. If you have some of your own and you would like to share, make sure you leave them down below in the comment section. Also, if you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and reshare this video. It does help grow the channel. Until next time, adios. Hey, what's up guys? It's Marquez from the MKBHD channel. And if the higher amperage charger doesn't work for you, here are some more battery saving tips to keep you in the green longer.